Okay, let's go uh, to character creation. Yeah. Okay. What do I want? Okay, so rogues, either high elves or halflings. I think that's, I guess that does depend on what do I want. So we have move plus dex plus int plus dex plus con. Charisma? Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go high elf. I can do Sylvian Elves. Uh, plus desk. Okay. King senses. Perception skill. That's good. That's good. Do all of them have it? Yeah. They all have it. Sylvian changes here. Got it. Okay. Proficiency. Elf regularly. Sylvia adaptability. Proficient in the survival and athletic skill. Advantage on survival when hunting. Mm. How about you? Choose one wizard cantrip using intelligence as a spell casting ability. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um. Common Elvish and one linger language linger. Look at me. Language of your choice. I have Dwarvish, which is important. I think I already have a High Elf, which is a mage. So I'm gonna do a Sylvian. Yeah. I'm gonna do a Sylvian. Okay. Rogue. Archetypes. I want to be shadow caster. Uh, I have seen this before. I have obviously I've played as a rogue before, and I was a thief. <laughs> um, it just gets a pretty great bonus on sneaks, and I love it so much. Like stealth checks are just great. Is the game loud? I feel like the game is just so loud. I can barely hear myself. Okay. I hope it's not extremely loud for you guys. I'll lower it in the future. I just... I have no one in chat to actually tell me if it's too loud or if you guys can hear me well, but whatever. <laughs> I'll just uh, go with my instinct. Um, so I do want to be a shadow caster. Um, have never used neither Dark Weaver or Shadow Caster before. Um, but I like it. Like it's a mix of like a wizard y type of rogue. I can teleport. Charges after arrest. Okay, teleport is cool. I can do necromancy. Okay. Equipment. Okay. They have new classes too. I don't think we had a sorcerer. No, yeah, sorcerer update. That's new. I've never used that before. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go. Rogue. Not gonna edit my equipment. There's not much that I can do. Like in here. I'm not gonna change these. I like the rip here. Okay. Oh, right. Last time I was low life, um, which gives me some bonuses in like charisma and all that. Uh, I'm gonna go with spy. Spy, I gain a personality trait called casual. 
This character speaks like most folk do. Neither overly formal nor overly colloquial. Casual personality score 8. So with low life, I had slang. Slang. <laughs> okay, let's go spy. And this is great. I can actually choose additional personality traits. So, let's see. Tendency to take care of one's own safety above all. Greed. Value wealth and comfort above all else. Pragmatism. Va tendency to value practicality over principles. Okay, that looks more like me. Uh, choose two. Personality score 11 and another personality score 11. Great. Just great. Do not want to be violent. Hey! Why we have a time on the corner? Oh, that's because when I open my stream, I usually put a countdown over there, which I forgot to take away. Okay. Um, okay. Done. Consider it done. Okay. More personality flags. Um. I am always, I'm sorry guys, if you do not like, but I am always chaotic, uh, neutral. So that's actually one of the reasons why I picked cynicism. Um, yeah, that, that does go along, doesn't it? I hadn't even, even said it. <laughs> uh, definitely no kindness, definitely not violence. I already have these. Hey, Mama. I'm okay. Did you watch Gamescom? It was on fire. Like, I saw some pretty great stuff at Gamescom. It just ended, by the way. <laughs> um, but there's more tomorrow. Um, same time. I think it's 8 p.m. for me. It should be like 4 p.m. for you guys, I think. Just a little made me happy with what I saw. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. Uh, I don't want any of these. Okay, let's just be pragmatic and uh, authority. Okay. Oh no! Okay. So, how does CRPGs work? I want 18 decks. Actually, no, I don't. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's roll. More. I want more. I want more. One more. One more. More. Come on, game. Help me out here. Help me out here. Oh, this is so great! No, I want more. achievement <laughs> I got an achievement for rolling okay this is gonna do well this is gonna be great <laughs> I'm sorry I I why hadn't I had this before I have no idea I just Yeah, an achievement for being perfectionist and trying to roll dice as many times as I could, exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, I feel such a, such a goose. Such a... Okay, let's go. Okay, so I want con and I want int. Yeah. And then don't really care about the rest. I don't need wisdom. Okay. 
Um, so I think I'm pretty strong. Desk, decks, and con are everything to me as a rogue. Uh, Int is great to cast spells, and since I'm gonna be a spellcaster, sort of, I do want high int. Um, whatever else is just uh, rolling, per se. Uh, high charisma is great because as a rogue, I have like a great tongue to just roll my my way out of things. I have a nice hit dice. I have seven movement, which is great. Sixteen AC, awesome. Um, HP is kind of low, but it's the best as I can do for now. Okay. Ah, all right. So, as a rogue, I have um, proficiency in in saving throws and dex saving throws. So I do want slider hand. Yes. Whenever you attempt an act of Ledger Domain, which is like locks or menu trickery, such as planting something on someone else or concealing an object on your person, make a dex sleight of hand check. This is very important. Um, I want investigation, which is good. Uh, These are pretty much all I can, all I want. Because <laughs> these are like, I want int and I want dex, right? So I have three, I have four points. I'm putting pretty much all of my points in all of these, like all of my proficiencies. And these are just extra. Would be nice. Although part of the rule set and valid for role-playing purposes, this element is not used in the Crown of Magister main campaign. What are they telling me is, even though this is fully, this game is fully based on D&D 5.0, uh, which is the newest, as far as I recall, and um, it is used in the RPG of stuff, but it's not really used in here. Uh, rogue is life. I love playing rogue on RPG. Yes, rogue is life. Rogue is life. I've been playing rogues forever. Um, I love rogue so much. Okay, so uh, I don't have any more checks on anything else. I need to put a point somewhere else. What do I do? gonna go purse okay so now I have class expertise which is I can train I can further train something to be an expert in to have a double proficiency at. Um, I would love to have the proficiency on stealth just pretty great but hmm, hmm. Yeah, I can also put it down here on tools. Contained a small file, a set of lockpicks, a set of narrow bladed scissors and a pair of pliers useful for disarming traps and opening locks. It's pretty high though. I, I'm pretty sure the 20, 20 decks is not basic. <laughs> it's like, it's optimal, definitely optimal, but it's... Mm, I have seven in everything. Hey Signazis, how are you doing? Everyone's in chat now, everyone is like my dad. I can see some familiar nicks around. So we are on character creation of Celasta and I'm creating my rogue. I think I already have like other five rogues <laughs> pre-made in this game, but I am doing it all over again because I have not messed with much on character creation. Um, I usually just go with the flow. I know I shouldn't. It's a, it's a CRPG, but I was just trying to see how could I. Mm. 
Let's go with sleight of hand. Yeah, plus nine. And more stealth. Why not? Ooh, okay. Languages. So I already know common. I know dwarvish. I know elvish. And I know halfling. So I can choose two more. I want these because I think this is part of, of the campaign. Like old Termerian. Pretty sure this is part of this DD campaign. It would be nice to have either Orcish or Goblin, which I am sure that are in the game. I don't know anything about Giant. Um, yeah, they do say that um, it's valid for role playing purposes, it's not actively used in this campaign. So I'm gonna go with Orcish. Okay. So we know a bunch, a bunch of languages. We are very proficient. We are very proficient. We are very lethal. Wow, okay. Next. Identity! Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna make her look like me. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm feeling pretty reddish today. So I love the character creation. Look at this. Look at how amazing it is. And I'm just gonna be boring and do someone pale like myself face uh, do you guys see any changes I don't see many changes suppose she's okay one six we okay uh, I have, my eyes are a bit weird N no definitely not no no yeah, I'll stay with I'll stay with four. I'm gonna put my natural hair color and my eye color and my physique. Am I am I thick? And now we're staying this for like three hours. <laughs> no, I am a very objective person. Okay, I just I am not the most creative. Oh, I can be like very old. Look at this. I wonder if age does anything. I doubt. Voice. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Good. No. Well, you're not completely useless after all. Is this a guy? Damn it. No. Yes, it's a guy. There's a door here. Okay. Then she. Why do we have to select pronouns? Okay. And my backstory. Once a Twitch streamer, currently thieving. Uh, name. Aiken. Aiken. What's my family name, Chad? What do you think is going to be a great family name for myself? I, I have an idea. I have a great idea. How about... <laughs> How about Prime? Oh my god, what? This is... Guys, I think this is great. Don't, don't you like it? Like Aegon Prime? Aegon Prime. 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 This... There's no... No uh, manipulation behind any of this. It's just, I think this is a great name. Like, don't you guys think that? I just, Prime is just such a great... It's just so... Makes me want to, um, I don't know, subscribe maybe. Yeah, who knows. Prime, Prime. Oh, Amazon. Oh, I see. Yes, I know. I know. I'm just gonna leave it there. It's just no pressure. Um, yeah. So, I look pretty common. Where can I change my hair? Oh, hair shape. Shape? Okay, hair shape. Uh, I can be quite elvish. This is very elvish of me. This is much more elvish of me. Wow, I look like a geek. Look at me. Okay. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> I love these models. I love these models. Uh, 
Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this shake? This is so great. I really like it. I'm not gonna keep it. Wow. Okay. I can be very um magician-y. Okay. No. Maybe if I was a barbarian. Sure. I'm joking. Uh, can can I be a monk in this game? Don't think so. I don't. I just don't like these texture. These texture. Oh, it's bothering me. Give me something. <laughs> Give me something else. <laughs> okay. Um. No. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Yeah. No, wait. My other rogue had this already. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with this weird, weird one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the wig. It looks like a wig, you see, like here. It looks so much like a wig. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, let's go with this one. Finish. Another character is already using that name. What? Chat, this is outrageous. This is outrageous. Another character I have already using this first name. But she's not using the last name, the family name. That should be different, right? Right? Does that mean that I can't have like 50,000 characters with the same name? It's my Nick. Okay, mm, let's put a V. That's what I do. Oh, wait, I can put more. Egan, Egan V. Okay, that's, that's my name. That's my name. It's what I do when when I can't put my my nick onto something. I just put my my first my V in there. It's done, created. Ah, oh, Egan V Prime, Egan Prime. For, forget the V. I'm Prime. Okay. A uh, new adventure. Empty. Select a character. Me. Then I see there's two new like there's sorcerers here and this guy has a weird name. I'm gonna assume that this is Greek. I think. Um let's see. I need a basic party, guys. I need a basic party. So the basic party and yeah, these are all pre-made, except mine, of course, like exact like my rogue before. They're all pre-made. And I don't like many of them, but it's okay, it's fine. So, uh, basic party is a rogue, a paladin, um, a cleric, and a wizard. Right, that's that's how life is. Um, I need a cleric, and apparently I only have one. Yeah, why why do I have the same person twice? One has these, and one doesn't. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go with Salia. Hello, Salia. Okay, okay guys, um, so I have a rogue, I have a character, uh, like a, a cleric, I need either a wizard or I can get a sorcerer, and then I can either choose a paladin or a fighter, what do you think? What do you guys think? Could get the paladin. Paladins are really strong, like so strong. They're so overpowered, it's so ridiculous. And it's a dwarf too. Dwarves are quite strong. Then I can get the wizard or the sorcerer. 
Paladin looks interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Paladin. I haven't messed up with this guy yet, so I don't know what he does. Which is great, isn't it? <laughs> um, I can use the wizard. She is very reliable. I know her. She is very reliable. Um, or I can try Hector. Yeah, let's let's try Hector. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, guys. Um, I am quite veteran. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm on scavenger mode. Okay, scavenger mode is quite a challenge. I have suffered much on my other runs, which means I've been saves uh, saves coming a lot. Uh, but who doesn't, right? Like saves comes life. Um, let's see. Cataclysm mode. For players looking to defy the odds, you will suffer a lot. Do I want to do this live? Do I want to torture myself in an unending type of run? Dying several times. That is not super fun to watch, right? It's not. It's not super fun to watch. Um, I can go authentic, which is easier than what I'm used to. Um, but might be faster. You see, I gotta, I gotta play smart here. I gotta be smart. Why am I saying that? Cataclysm is for entertainment of chat. I can try, I can try a harder difficulty when I play Pathfinder Kingmaker later on, and I can go for chaotic evil if you guys want. What I'm looking for right now is preparation to Pathfinder Wrath of the, the Righteous, which is about to come out in eight days from now. And if you guys don't know, Pathfinder are my favorite CRPG series. So a new game is coming out in eight days. That's why I'm playing Celasta. I want to finish Celasta, so I'm like peaked on CRPG intelligence. And then I can like just, um, you know, screw everything up, and make you guys understand that I'm not really that intelligent for these types of games. Pathfinder is coming in eight days. Pathfinder Rift of the Righteous is coming in eight days. Yes, and I am a backer myself, which is the sequel of Pathfinder Kingmaker. So I wanted to play a CRPG, and here I am. I am gonna go authentic mode because we have. Eight days. Iron Man mode. What is this? Only the latest save can be. No, 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 no. I'm a saves comer. I don't like this. Only the last save. No, 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 no. We, we, we are saves comers in this chat. We are, and we are very proud of it. And that's it. Okay. Let's start the game. Ooh, you ready? I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Brightness. This is a horror game. Okay. Guess this is cool. And this this is cool. Okay. Let's go. Dun dun. You start at a tavern, of course. Lots of story to go through. Lots of adventure. Everything in this game is about light. Okay, guys, so Celesta is all about light. So visibility is everything. We gotta learn how to light everything up. And otherwise we're not gonna be hitting anything. <laughs> There's a big debuff for unlit characters. Yes, I said unlit. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident. Or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. Always a second option, guys. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it. An 
twist in the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there in search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. It is the year of 1024 after the Cataclysm. <laughs> New states have arisen around the Badlands and crave its treasures. A newly discovered road offers a safe route into the ruined heart of the Empire from the Principality of Mosgarth, upsetting the balance of power. The Legacy Council is formed to ensure that its knowledge is shared. Its issues a call for all agents to explore the Badlands in its name. Adventurers flock to Caracaflin, the Principality's capital, and the home of the council. Four strangers meet in the Gravekeep's cask, close to the council's chambers. <laughs> 